today around the world. There are about 300 million families, that's about one and a half to two billion people who don't have access to housing. Within 15 years, so by 2030, this population is estimated to double. With the growing trends in urbanization, most all of these people by 2030 are going to be living in cities. The only question is where? I believe, and I, I think there are other people out there who believe that basic human right is access to housing. If you think of your most inner sanctuary, where you can hide your things, where you can go to when all the problems that are possible in your world have come up, about 40% of the globe within 15 years won't have that. If you take all the construction companies in the world, Europe alone has more than a million companies. And if you take the best technology in the world and give it to all these companies, and then presume that all these companies are working at 100% capacity for the next 15 years, we're still not solving the problem. Something has to change within the industry. The technology, the materials, the work paradigm. Even if we assume that we could suffice the need with current technology and current companies, if we look at the materials, it doesn't matter which, whether it's wood or cement or concrete, all these materials are finite. So I think there are many possible solutions. On the construction process, we have to automate it. Construction is the only major industry on Earth that has not gone through automation like other industries. In 1920, dozens of people supervised and built one car. Today we have one person supervising the manufacturing of thousands of cars. And that's why a lot of people today can afford a car. And in 1920, very few people could afford a car. It's the same paradigm in housing. If we increase the efficiency, reduce the price of construction, then more people will be able to afford it. 